mother load. The mother load of mother loads. What is up everybody? JG603 coming at you with yet another Pokemon video. Another day of hunting Hana's on for Pokemon. Let's get it! Very fun one today. Uh, been a little bit slow this week. You know, a lot of single packs, partner packs, a couple tins we got lucky on, but we got some incredible finds here. We hit the mother load at Walmart, so we're gonna check it out, see what we get, dive into some of these packs. Incredible haul. Y'all gonna really love what you see. Make sure you like the video, drop a comment if you can, sub to the channel, noty bell, ding, activated, and appreciate y'all for checking out the video. Let's see what we got. What is up? It is Thursday, day four. The hunt is on for Pokemon, and it's going pretty well if I do say so myself. Pretty much better than I could have really imagined it, considering how hard it is to find packs these days. I mean, we had that Pokeball tin hit, the three Shining Fate mini tins, a uh, bunch of booster packs, especially out of those first partner packs. We're looking at at least 12 to 14 of those things when all is said and done. Uh, so uh, we're going we're gonna to see what we can find today. Not super confident, unfortunately, today, uh, mainly due to the fact that the other stores have essentially stocked the last few days. But, you know, something could have slipped through the cracks. Maybe something got left behind. Maybe, you know, people... You know, Wednesdays and Thursdays at Targets, you know, typically the stock on Fridays, maybe some stuff's left there, because there was a lot of Shining Fates mini tins last time I was there, so fingers crossed on that, but uh, we're going to see what we're going to find today, you know? The hunt is on for Pokemon. Let's get it! All right. All right. Of course, they stock Tuesday, so not much here yesterday. Can't imagine there's really anything here today, but got to do our due diligence and check it out. Let's get it. As expected, nothing there. Kind of expect the same of the other Walmart. Really excited to check out that Target though, so we're gonna do that first. We'll go to the uh, Walmart after because I'm far more confident there being something left at that Target than uh, anything left at any Walmarts at this point. So let's get it. All right at Target, they're gonna have something at the least a, a booster pack of battle style. So excited to get back here. Praying there's a Shining Fates tin. Let's run in there and let's see what they got. Looks good again, looks good again. Fully stocked. Fully, fully, fully. Let's get it. In classic Pokemon card fashion, everything was gone. Uh, they, of course, still had the Aracuda packs and these guys. So we got one of these. Of course, only one item per person or otherwise he had shot down here. So we're off to Walmart. Uh, don't expect to see anything there. And then hoping that the other target stocked. And yes, the uh, much uh, maligned third Walmart is gonna be hit as well. Cause that has just been consistently terrible this week. And uh, really in my history of going there, I've never seen a single Pokemon item, not even those mystery blisters, you know, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So uh, fingers crossed we get something there, but off to Walmart two, Walmart three and Target two. Maybe we find a mystery stop in the way. Don't think so, because I think uh, most of the places we looked at, I mean, of course, we could check every single day the dollar stores, the the big lot, the lots, the Kohl's, but a little time consuming. So we're going to go hit up those uh, department stores, and we're going to see what we can get there. Fingers crossed we get something. The hunt is on for Pokemon. Let's get it. All right, here we are at Walmart numero dos. Uh, nothing crazy here. Got those first partner packs last couple days. Probably all we're really going to find here, but hopefully they stocked up. I have gotten Shining Fates here before on multiple occasions, so fingers crossed we can find some of those. Let's go check it out. Here we are. Let's see what they got. Uh, clean out on the sports. Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. And cleaned out on Pokemon. Even the first partner, as well as... The, the V boxes, which very surprising when those things sell out. So we will go check the toy section in case if they threw anything back there, but not looking good. Walking into the toy aisle, big old MJ holding box. We're gonna do a quick loop and go back. I think I saw some for uh, some some V boxes, so we're gonna try to get those. Hopefully, 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 we eventually stop them real quick. We sneak in there, sneak out. Oh man. Very nervous on this one, very nervous. We're doubling back, waiting for this guy to leave. We uh, snuck out the first time. Got some good stuff. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. <sighs> He's kind of camping it though. I think he knows what's up, so we're gonna be careful here. We're gonna be very careful. He's not leaving his post. I don't know if he's supposed to be there guarding it, but I'm sure as hell is, so. I'm gonna just wait it out, see how it goes. The mother load. The mother load of mother loads. 
Shining Fates for days. Galarian V box. So we ended up getting one of each of the boxes at that Walmart. Real hyped. I mean, incredible haul right there. All right, here we are. Walmart number three. Much maligned. Not a single hit any day this week. Just, we have found absolutely nothing. Now, uh, fingers crossed that we find something. We find something here. Let's see what we can do. Let's get it. Business as usual at this location. There has never been anything. I'm convinced there never will be again. I don't know what happened, but something must have gone down. And an absolute shocker to nobody. Nothing at Walmart 3. I, I think after tomorrow, I'm not coming back here. I, I've been here. So, so last week, we, uh, we essentially did the same thing, but we didn't really record it. So this is um, nine straight weekdays. They have had nothing. Now, maybe they stocked on Saturday or Sunday, maybe Friday night. Seems unlikely. Most Walmarts seem to be either Tuesday or Thursday morning or night or both. So, uh, that's a shame. But, on the next one. So we are at Target 2. Old Target. Final stop on the day. But, you know, to be honest, we're going to consider looking around at some other places in case we did strike out, which, um, outside of that one Walmart, we, we got... Diddly. We got Jack Diddly today. I mean, we got that that single uh, booster pack uh, of Battle Styles. So, um, we'll probably gonna call it after this. Uh, especially because my wallet's not too thrilled after that absolute haul at Walmart. But, um, let's see what Target has. Uh, likely nothing again, but maybe maybe they finally stock. Let's go find out. Not a zombie Pokemon. Let's get it. Here's though they did restock. They stocked was more magic I don't I don't know why they have this much magic I, I really don't I have no clue very strange all right so I mean very excited what we got into a lot of good stuff of course uh, very excited to open these guys so this video today we got a little bit of goodness we got the three different of the Galar partner packs as you saw me pick up there that Walmart and we have the three Shining Fates boxes. We're going to get into all of these today. Um, for, for the single battle styles, you know, we're going to take those, set those aside. We have a battle styles video coming next week because we are on the hunt for the Tarantar after the buffet card. The only card that is out that we are just dying to pull. I love the art on it. So we're going to have a battle styles video coming soon. But we're going to dive into these bad boys and let's see what we can do with it. All right, so it's pack opening time. I uh, said it before, I'll say it again, working on getting the setup a little bit cleaned up, you know, improving the cameras, improving the background, all that stuff. But, of course, we got the three Shining Fates boxes. The three Galar Partner boxes. And, of course, a lot of cardboard, a lot of plastic to dive into here, so we're going to get that out of the way. You guys don't want to see me struggle through the package. Maybe you do want to see me struggle through it, but I don't want to see me struggle through it. So, we're going to get this out of the way, and just like this, it's all going to be open. Ready? Just like that, everything's been unwrapped. So, we got the six sword and shield base set, three cosmic eclipse, three evolutions, 15 shining fates. So, I think we're gonna get the sword and shield in first. We're gonna save the cosmic eclipse and evolutions for last because those are just fantastic sets. Very excited about that right there. Uh, shining fates will do in the middle. But first, I will give you guys the code cards for anyone who's interested in these. Gonna fly through these really quick. These are the uh, promo code cards. Uh, I always give away the code cards. I don't really play TCGO. I do from time to time, but not enough to need all the code cards that we get from all these boxes, the packs, etc. We're gonna fly through these really quick. Uh, it's gonna be a little. It's gonna be a little blurry. We'll work through it. There's a Cinderace, Antillion. There's your Rillaboom, Shiny Bolton. And there's the Shiny Cramorant, and there is Shiny Elgos. So hopefully you guys get something nice out of those. Gonna set those aside over there. Uh, we'll show you the jumbo cards real quick. And they're small counterparts. So here of course are the big three from this, the Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Antillion. Just wonderful cards. Uh, these kids can't show down there because they don't fit on the camera. But here are the big ones, big versions of those. I mean, I really love the collectability of these things. And if uh, you guys uh, can find the first partner uh, program, uh, you know, where they're, they're doing the uh, big three giant cards each month, get one of those binders. Really great way to keep some of these safe. Uh, you get a couple of them maybe, because otherwise we don't have a really a lot of options for these giant card arts. So here we go. Cramorant, Eldegoss, and Bolton. There are those. And their larger counterparts. There we go. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff, though. 
love love the idea of these these jumbo cards i mean they they, they really do crack me up I, I always like to think in my mind um having like a, a a battle with just giant cards and it just it cracks me up every time so we're gonna get into these sword and shield base set first very excited to get into some of these today so as always uh Make sure you guys drop a like on the video, comment, sub if you can. Would appreciate all that goodness. Help support the channel. Help support your boy. Makes him grow a little bit. There is your code card for that. Get that out of the way. Four cards, of course, is the trick. Uh, typically, the green card means you're not really going to pull anything too great. So, if I fly a little bit through this, Lucky Egg, Dub Wolf, Doug Trio, Jin Chao, Sizzlipede, Larian Zigzagoon, Muna, and that's a that's a yarn Pokemon. Uh, fiance loves collecting those, so we're gonna set that aside. Snome, uh, Glaring Berserker, Reverse, and a uh, Poltergeist. Nothing crazy there to start, but um, I really just love uh the the hunt. The hunt's always a good time, man. You never know what you're gonna run into, what you're gonna find. Really, really brings some excitement to it, and and of course, of course, getting it at uh store prices is is a dub as well, cause. The, the way these prices are up right now is unbelievable. There is your code card, and it looks like another green code, so likely another bit of a bummer pack here, but we're really excited to get into some of the better sets that we got here today. Air Balloon, Pokey Kid, Heatmore, Sobble, Flipbug, Baltoy, Wooloo, Joltip, Solarian Zigzagoon, and a Santa Kana. Santa Kana don't want none unless you got Pokemon. That's not it. That's not right. All right. So moving right along here. Oh, there we go. Finally, a silverback code card. Got something spicy in here. There is your code. Throw that right over there. Make sure our cards are all leveled out. Nothing's worse than getting spoiled on this deck. Seeking. Wacky. Lucky Egg. A lot of lucky eggs here. Sizzle Feed. Ulu. Brookie. Zobble. Or Iorn. Pokemon Catcher Reverse Hollow and a full art Regirock V. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Love to see that. Perfect pack magic there with, of course, the reverse and the regular. Fantastic stuff there. So we are working on the uh, Shining Feats uh, complete set. Uh, unfortunately, uh, not really close on any other of the sets. Maybe a little bit Vivid Voltage, a little bit Battle Styles here. There's your code card for that. Put that right over there, nice and gentle light. Four cards, of course, is the trick. Vitality Band. Oh, focus. 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 It just sometimes, you know, sometimes the tech doesn't want to cooperate with you. There we go. We had some glaring going on there. Wacky. The Yamper Army, baby. We we have we have a corgi, so the Yampers are very, very near and dear to our hearts, because you know it looks very similar, so. Every time we pull those, we, we set those guys aside as well. There's the discount store, uh, store turtle. Hey, and 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 the shiny, the uh, the reverse hollow, and a cramorant V. Fantastic, another perfect pack. So of course, that's gonna go over in the yarn pile, as we like to call them. As uh, got a nice collection. Maybe sometime we'll, we'll show you uh, the yarn, uh, the clay, and the yamper collection. It's pretty. It's pretty legit. Not gonna lie here. Not gonna lie here. Get right into we got one more sword and shield after this and another silverback heating up here baby focus yeah you can probably get the numbers out of that throw that right over there all right another fire energy i i love the hitmonlee uh this card art the hitmonlee and the hitman chan it's something about it it just looks awesome man my my thing my favorite right now though outside of the rare cards is the um valerian uh slowbro i believe it is with that sunset wonderful Goldeen, Roselia, Ghostly, Raichu, Reverse, and an Oranguru Hollow. Love it. Love it. So we are heating up big time as we're getting into the final Sword and Shield pack here. About to dive into some Shining Fates. So many packs left, so make sure y'all stick around. Oh, and we ended on a greenie. That's no bueno. No bueno. There is that code. Little, little, eh, eh, focus. Focus. There we go. Throw that over there. Four cards, of course, is the trick. And if, if any of you guys are newer to this, uh, the card trick makes it so the rare cards go to the back. That way, it just it just kind of balances out the pack a little bit better. Some guys do the tricks differently, but I like the energy in the front. I think it's kind of a smoother execution as well. 
Mawile, Galarian Ponyta. Speaking of Galarian Ponyta, the Galarian Rabidash. If you guys haven't seen these boxes yet, we are going to have some to dive into on future videos, so make sure you check those out. They're just incredible, incredible design on those boxes. Mudbray, Lucky Egg, Reverse, and a Galarian Rabidash. It's like Beetlejuice. You speak of him and he appears. All right, Shining Fates time. So many Shining Fates packs to dive into, 15 of which. Sometimes we like to organize them based on card art, but we're just going to dive right into these. And of course, the back art doesn't really matter, but, you know, sometimes fun to do it that way. Because a uh, uh, great YouTuber, uh, Real Breaking Nake, put out a video regarding, can you pull a Charizard from a Charizard pack? And I still don't know. I, I, I think I've pulled both of mine from non-Charizard packs, if I remember correctly, and there is your code card. And of course, with Shining Fates, all the code cards are the silverbacks, so you don't really know what you're getting. Uh, looking for a few cards, but very close to a complete set. I'll probably give you guys a run-through of the Pokemon collection. Oh, we've seen something back there. The Pokemon collection in the coming weeks here. We've got so much content coming at you. We're going to work on weekly update uh, up uploads. A lot of Pokemon pack openings. we got some. We got some sports we might dive into as well, but I think we're going to focus on the Pokemon for the time being here. Yanma. <clears throat> Coughing. Pico. Horsey. Luxio Reverse. And an NDDV. Full art. Love to see it. Perfect pack. Coming right out the gate. Right out the gate. You love to see it. You love to see it. So, of course, uh, the main card we're looking for is, of course, the Charizard. But there's a lot of full arts in this set that are fantastic. A lot of stuff I haven't pulled as well. So, uh... As mentioned, looking for that complete set. We'll show you that. Uh, hopefully, in the coming weeks, we'll be able to sit down, go through uh, what, what we're hoping. We're getting a binder soon to get that leveled out. Uh, now, we're probably not going to be putting the Charizard in here because you can see in the background, we do have a shiny Charizard VMAX right there. We actually have two of them. One we've pulled on a video, which I'll probably link some somewhere. And then the other one we pulled live on Twitch, which is fantastic. Make sure you check me out on Twitch at JG603. All right, Fighting Energy, Dartrix, Ball Guy, Team Yell Tower, Dupant, Eevee, Moezel, Yanma, Inch, and Mega Reverse, and a uh, Volcanion. Don't like seeing that. <laughs> Don't like seeing that. And we are moving right along here. I believe we have 12 Shining Fates remaining. Here. Nice opening for your day. Nice little variety, too. It's something I really enjoy about a lot of the boxes, uh, especially the partner boxes. Those are just... I just, I just think they're fantastic, the, the variety there. Some of the newer boxes have been a little bit less uh, exciting in terms of um, different packs, but I think those uh, those boxes with that Shot of Evolutions and Cosmic Clips, I mean, I think they're one of the best out right now. Jinx, Coughing, Horsey, Rusted Shield Reverse, and Professor Research, no go there. Plenty of opportunity here though, plenty of opportunity. One thing about opening them all at once is, you know, you're kind of curious, oh, where, who, who got what uh, in what pack? Oh, boy. No problem here. No problem here. You know, sometimes I just can't get them open. Sometimes you gotta, 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 gotta get creative. You gotta MacGyver this thing. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Check that out. Look at that. Blew it right open. You know, sometimes the packs try to get the better of you. And sometimes you have to just... Get a, little, get, a little, get a little violent on him, you know? Sometimes you just gotta... You gotta pop it, you know? You just gotta, gotta get into it. There is the code card there. Put that right over there nice and gently. ZykMG, Alexio, Thwacky, Focus. Focus. Eh, whatever. Rusted Shield, Eevee, Weasel, Yanma, Grapinch, Nick... Rillaboom Reverse, and a Dreadnought Dollar Store Blastoise. Don't love to see that. A little, little cold here to start. We got that in DDV, but otherwise, not much going on the Shining Fates side of things. And it, that, That's funny. That, that pack, easy open. The other one, it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. Now, I know I opened it a little different. Everyone kind of gets to know things different, but uh, I try to be careful when I can, but sometimes you just gotta, gotta get in there. Energy. Gym Trainer, Cramorant, Tropius, Morpeko, Jackie, ooh, ooh, ow, Horsey, Q-Fant, Doodle, and the Rillaboom Shiny V, do not believe we have this, we do have the V-Max, but we don't have the Shiny V, another one for the Binder, and a Thievil, Hollow, so there we go, perfect pack, magic, love to see that, very excited, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that is a new one for 
the binder, so very excited about that. Oh, we got another fighter. We got another fighter. Some sometimes these guys let's, let's go bottom. Let's go bottom here. Sometimes these guys just don't open for you, you know. There we go. There we go. Just the, the fight. The fight. The resilience in that pack. Here we go. There's the code. And it's funny, sometimes these code cards come half printed. So I'm interested to know if the captcha work on some of those. I typically cover the captcha, so you guys actually have to do a little bit extra work. Type in the code, but it is what it is. Energy, Rusted Sword, Eldegoss, Dartrix, <clears throat> Coughing, Horsey, Garuki, more Pico, Spinarak, more, more Pico again, sure. And a Volcanion. Feels bad, man. So not not terrible here. Uh, I'm at least excited for that uh, Rillaboom V something new for the collection there. And of course, it, it it's all a toss up. It's all it's all pure toss up. But that's some of the fun of Pokemon collecting. You never know what you're gonna get. Now I'm a guy uh, who doesn't really like to buy individual cards to complete uh, collections. I like to pull everything. I think there's something to the hunt of it. It's like um, as you can see, I got some Funkos behind me. Uh, entire wall of Funkos, roughly over 150. And um, I'll buy some online, but I really like the in-person hunt. I think there's just something special about it. Something a little bit more personal when you have a story behind the item. And another Volcanion. All right, running low on the Shining Fates here. Closing in on the main event of Cosmic Eclipse and Evolution. Now, I know most people uh, prefer Cosmic Eclipse to Evolution, but I just, the nostalgia factor of it alone is just... I, I just love it. Uh, of course, you can probably see in the background, we do have a fossil pack kept real safe in that nice protector there. That is a first edition fossil pack. Uh, we plan on opening that. Hopefully when this channel gets a little bit bigger, maybe maybe like 500 subs or something, pop that bad boy open. But until then, the beautiful backdrop. Oh, ooh. Cacnea, you're so sharp. Eevee, Bleasel, Zarud, Sandstorm, and Boss's Orders. Why you gotta be Zarud? That's a jammy jam right there. You know that song? You know that song? Good song. Good song. Really good song. Excellent. Excellent. One could say a jammy jam. All my Twitter people know what's up with the jammy jams. All right. Moving right along. Gym trainer, Team Yeltow. Why are we yelling? Why are we always yelling? Weasel, Rowlet, Trapinch, Snow on a bench, Krooky. Hey! Dragapult Shiny! I think we might have that. I'm not certain, but that is a beautiful card. Really love Dragapult. Just, just a wonderful design, especially on this card in particular. And a Celebi is the rare. Fantastic, though. Anytime we get these rare pulls, you know, you'll take them. You'll absolutely take them. And, of course, uh, we can't see on camera. We've got a nice stack over here. We do separate the, the commons, the rares, the hollows, all that stuff. It just uh, makes it much easier to store the cards. Uh, I, I do keep them pretty safe, typically in uh, old uh, trainer boxes as... I unfortunately have a ridiculous stock of those, which again, we will show soon, hopefully on the channel. There is your code card. Focus. Focus. You know, if you guys come through and clean up all the code cards, feel free. But if you want to leave a couple, maybe someone else comes through and be able to claim some. I'd appreciate it. You don't have to. But it's always nice to share. Sharing is caring. Rusted Sword. Gym Trainer. Wacky. Sphinx. Relic. Eevee. Morpico. Weasel. Tropius Reverse, and a Frost Moth Hollow. Not bad. Um, about 99% sure we have all the um, Hollows, all the regular rares, all the Reverse Hollows as well. Just looking for a couple shiny cards. I think there's a full card art, uh, trainer art, that we have not picked up quite yet, but we're doing quite well in the Shining Fates complete set. There is the code there. Put that over there real nice and softly. And there's the Energy Cramorant, Tropius, Rotom. Pico, Gossip Floor, Eevee, Yanma, Snome. Hey, Lapras, Shiny V! Beautiful! Oh man, Lapras, just one of my all time favorite Pokemon. Love that card. And another Thievil Reverse Hollow. Fantastic, though. Fantastic pull there. Is, the, is it just me or is that V a little faded? Look at this V. The V looks a little more faded than normal. I don't, I don't know if that's just something I just haven't noticed because. Based on the other ones, it's, it's a full-on V. That's kind of a uh, uh, a faded one. They're very interesting. They're very interesting. You know, that's something when you look at these high-priced cards. You know, you, you might pull a you might pull a Charizard, but it might be a bad print. You could have some damage to the card, and it's an absolute toss-up. If you're looking for the um the price side of things, outside of just the general collecting of it all, there's your code. 
four cards is the trick. And I believe we after this, we have three remaining packs. Fire energy. Is that a sign of a Charizard to come? Probably not. That'd be great. You pant. That's it, Laura. Gnome. <clears throat> Coughing. Yakni. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and Yveltal. Yveltal secret rare. Fantastic. I love the art on these cards. Where you get the uh, pat. Yeah, I've seen a man if you back there. We weren't gonna we weren't gonna hide that thing. I absolutely love the art on these. Uh, I believe I have um, all of the secret rares from the last couple sets. I have the Celebi, the Reshiram. Uh, I believe I have the Rayquaza, 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 Tomato, Tomato, whatever. Very, very excited about that pull, though. Uh, not one of the better of the secrets, but I think it's just uh, the, the card art itself is beautiful. That might be the fourth or fifth one of those we pulled, but um, I just love. I mean, some of these card arts are incredible. Some of them. A little to be desired, but a lot of them are, are just incredible. Incredible arts. There is your code. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. Appreciate you if you've hung through it for this long. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Ram Ram. Thank you, fam. Looks like we've seen something back there. Spoiler alert. Yenma. Draft Inch. Reverse Hollow Cramorant. And a Delmise V. Tough. Good pull. Not great. We have like seven of these, but we'll take it. It's kind of interesting too with some of these newer Pokemon, the, the designs on some of them. Like, I don't even know what that is. Is that like a an anchor with a wheel? Like like a pirate ship? Just sure. <laughs> uh, as someone who's been with Pokemon since the, since uh, Gen One, you know, of course, a uh, big part of my childhood there. Uh, it's just it's funny to see where we're at now. A lot of a lot of simple stuff coming out, and a lot of really complicated stuff. Like a lot of the legendaries are way crazier than stuff I could have ever imagined uh, growing up. We got one more after this. Oh, jeez. I have to get a band aid for this. Uh, Bitterack. Rusted Sword Reverse and Professor's Research. And as you see in the Rusted Sword there, it's just awesome. The Zashin, Zamazenta. If you guys haven't seen those boxes yet, I believe we'll be opening one on the channel very soon. Uh, I got a lot. I got a lot we've opened and that we're working on opening. Little backs up, but uh, we're going to push through it. We had a lot of stuff to get into. There is your code card for that final Shining Fate. So now we're gonna get some Cosmic Eclipse followed by Evolution. Shout out WWE pins and apps. Energy. Floatzel. Luxio. Rusted Sword. And this was a Charizard pack, by the way. A Pico. Horsey. Interact. Rowlet. Reshiram Reverse. Oh, and there. Ooh. Let me see what behind that is. That is terribly printed. A Thievul. Oh, man. I don't know if this camera can. Oh, yeah. You can see it even blurry massive line going right through the card that is a real shame these are beautiful cards I, I do have another one but wow that is that is painful to see on such a beautiful card art i mean oh that, that might be one of the worst um surfaces on a, on a new card i've seen maybe ever if, if not at least in some time here so we got three cosmic clips three evolutions to finish up here I love the, the pack art on these. Uh, some of the tag team in these is also awesome. Uh, of course, I'm looking for a tag team card to say the least. I think those are incredible. Wish they would be brought back to the TCG. And there it is. There's your code card. Yeah, unfortunately, green card, so probably not pulling anything great. And uh, Sun and Moon, so it should be four. Should be four. I know XY is three. There we go. Ignite. Nice. Angus. Blue. Nose pass. Runt, Rock Ruff, Earling, Ursa, Reverse Solo, Ambipom, and a Sylveon. Speaking of Sylveon, of course, I'm sure you guys are well aware. Uh, they've recently revealed uh, 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 the new Evolution set. Uh, the box art for it looks incredible. Very excited for that set, of course. Chilling Rain's coming out in about, about, about a week and a half, two weeks. And there is your code card. It is a silverback, so hopefully we get something spicy here. Uh, we will be opening some Chilling Rain on the channel. Got a booster box on the way. Got an Elite Trainer box on the way as well. All right, maybe a sign of a tag team to come. Here we go. Ducklet. Helioptile. Cosmog. Plugma. Well... <laughs> Well, these card arts, the ones where it's like the, the hand drawn like a kid style, I, they crack me up, man. They're just too funny. Braviary Reverse and a Steelix. Steelix Hollow. Get my hopes up. 
Getting my hopes up with a silverback, and that's what we get. All right, final pack, Cosmic Clips. The Blastoise Piplup art. I would love to pull any tag team, especially that one. There is your code card. That is a green back. So it looks like we're striking out on the Cosmic Clips here, but still a wonderful set. I believe to this day the biggest set in the TCG. Uh, over 200 cards. It's like 267 maybe? Something like that? You can correct me on it. Throw. Hangro. Blabbe. Bebe. Bebe. Blabbe. Sneasel. Not to. Shout out Leonardo. Not to. How do you do? All you can think of when you see not to cards. Sveal looking adorable as always. Lillipup looking even cuter. And a lantern. Down to the final three packs. It's evolution. Here we go. Charizard pack last. Let's get into the Raichu first. So uh, we do have a video. Uh, we'll probably get a link somewhere. Somewhere to bring you to. Uh, we opened up a Evolutions ETB. Love this set. By far my favorite set. There it is, Evolutions. There you go. And that is a green card, unfortunately. Not looking too hot here. Three cards is the trick. But there are some very valuable reverse hollows from this set. So maybe we can pull something nice. Metapod. Professor Oak's hint. It just brings you right back. I I just love the card art. It's just it's just such a throwback. Gotta be. Ghostly. Reverse. Pokedex, tough. And a Beedrill. No go there. All right, try number two. Just give me one silverback and we'll take it. Although with my luck, it's gonna be another Pidgeot. That's that's all we've got. That's all we've got. There's the code card. It is another green back. Tough sledding on these sets here. There we go. Charizard Spirit Link, a sign of things to come. Probably not a green code card. Maybe though, you never know. Maybe he's a hollow. I don't know. I'll take it. Ratata, Bullpix, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Ghostly. Oh, Magikarp. Oh, Magikarp. Far-fetched. Kind of like me pulling something good today. A little far-fetched. Just a little, just a little far-fetched. All right, can we get the final pack magic out of the Charizard pack art? Probably not, but we're going to keep our hopes up here. If not, I really had a lot of fun doing this opening. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And we do end on a silverback last pack magic. Let's see what we got here. Again, appreciate y'all for coming through. Uh, we will be posting much more consistently than we have been, so make sure you subscribe and hit that noti bell to make sure you don't miss a thing. Oh, we got a big shine back there. All right, what do we got? Poliwhirl. Maintenance. Haunter. Pikachu. Ponyta. Nidoran. Pulpix. Energy. Revive and Brock's Grit Full Trainer Art! Unbelievable pull to finish it off today! Fantastic! That's pretty much the best last back magic you can ask for. Unbelievable pull. A lot of fun doing this hunt. Make sure you guys check out the next video that'll be coming very soon where we open up the stuff we got on Friday. I have a good feeling that we might be able to beat what we pulled today because, I mean, outside that rock card there not a lot of great stuff so we're gonna see what we got make sure you guys check out the next video make sure you like subscribe comment all that wonderful stuff and i'll see you next time y'all the best y'all too sweet appreciate y'all for coming through Woo